today on Brubecule, we are making New York strip steak with a Dijon caper sauce. Let's get to it. Okay, here we go. We're gonna get this started. The Dijon caper sauce is starting first. Super easy, just a few ingredients here. We've got capers, which they add just a briny, earthy, awesome taste to this sauce. Great over, kind of like takes you back to a steakhouse with this thing. So we're gonna go three large spoons of the capers are going in. A little bit of the juice, got the Dijon mustard. And we're just gonna do about two tablespoons in here. One, call that two, right? About a tablespoon of olive oil. Maybe a little more. All right. And then two tablespoons of Worcestershire, Worcestershire, Shire, whatever this stuff is. We're gonna go two tablespoons of that. Last step, tablespoon of butter. Okay, actually last, last step. <laughs> uh, pepper, a couple pinches of that, and some salt. And then we'll just whisk this together, get it all incorporated, get that butter melted. And this is gonna come over here to where the fire is. I got this on like a medium, medium high. We're gonna get this up to a simmer and then let it just kind of thicken up for a while. All right. Dijon sauce, done, super easy. Like I said, start to finish two minutes, if that. So we're gonna let this go, like I said, bring it to a simmer, let it do its thing, then we'll get these steaks ready. All right, we got the sauce simmering away here. While we're waiting for that, might as well have a little something something here. We've got Stone and Society, two of, uh, I think the better breweries in San Diego, did a collaboration on a West Coast IPA. There it is, it is super light in color. It's got a nice little frothy white head here. It says it's a uh, Pacific Northwest hops, but it doesn't say wet hops. So, uh, but I can tell you right now, it is definitely straightforward West Coast. Oh, that is so good. Stone IPA, I think is one of the iconic San Diego IPAs. It's one of my favorites. And uh, this kind of just is in that genre. It's, it's a really good straightforward West Coast IPA. So cheers. All right, here we go. Sauce is bubbling away. Beer's in hand. Beer's in hand. <laughs> oh. Time for those steaks. Okay, so we're gonna keep this super simple with these steaks. Uh, as always, make sure you oil your grates. It just helps prevent sticking. Helps promote a little more uh, thorough cooking, evenly cooking. And then with these, all we're gonna do is a little salt and pepper. So we got the salt. That's going on just a little bit. I want this sauce, the, the Dijon peppercorn sauce to be the star of the show here. So we're just doing a little bit of seasoning to these steaks, nothing crazy. Throw that side down on the grill. Kind of push it down, make sure you get good contact. And then we'll just do the same thing on the back here. One tip too, when you're, when you're uh, seasoning your food like this, season it from a, a higher perspective, from like high up. Just kind of helps the seasoning distribute. If you go low, you get big patches of the seasoning in just certain spots and it doesn't, you know, coat it evenly. So always sprinkle high. So we're just gonna let these go. We'll flip them about once and uh, we're just going for an internal temp of 140. We'll let it rest, come up to 145. Should be a nice little medium and uh, get to this. All right, we just hit about 135 on this. Uh, the cool thing about this grill is it's got two of these infrared sear burners. So we're gonna crank those on and uh, get a nice little crosshatch sear on these things. So let's check this out. Yes. Oh, these burners are so awesome. I'm gonna get a sweet sear. Crank it really quick. And this only just takes a couple seconds. I think we 
Really quick though, check this out. Oh man, the smells are so amazing. Here we go, let's cut into this thing, check it out. These have a little bone on here. Get that cut off. Check it. Got that awesome caper sauce here. Caper Dijon sauce. We got this awesome New York steak. That takes you straight back to like a nice steakhouse. And that caper sauce is absolutely incredible. It's nice and thick now. You get a ton of that flavor from the brine capers. Oh guys, I can't wait to finish this thing. We'll see you guys next time. We're barbecuing. Cheers.